this is Stampy, and welcome to a Minecraft Let's Play video, and another video inside of Stampy's lovely world. Today, in this video, I am going to be joined once again by... Leave. Whoa! Hello, Lee there. You charged straight for me there. <laughs> if you went forward about a quarter of a block more there, you would have just knocked me on my feet, you would have. <laughs> uh, anyway, good morning, Lee there. Very nice to see you. Um, let's have breakfast. So uh, uh, we're continuing the other uh, tradition of having breakfast in a different room every day. So um, once again, you can uh, go and pick which room we're going to go and have our, our brekkie in, and I can go and have my cake. And uh, oh, looks like we're heading this way. Oh, maybe in the, the love garden, going to Fred's room, or no, eating right here. So uh, this is where we're normally crafting and smelting molten metal and things. Um, Yeah, the perfect place to eat cake. <laughs> eating cake off the top of an anvil. <laughs> nom, 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 nom. Ah, it is. Normally used for clamping down on metal. Now it's used for clamping down on cake with my jaws. <laughs> ah, dear. Anyway, uh, it's very convenient because we are now right next to the, uh, the love garden and I can go and announce who I'm adding to it next. And uh, the person I'm adding to is uh, Serena Sawatsky. And the reason I'm adding to uh, Serena is because she made Stampy Cat candy. And check it out. Uh, they're all different sizes and I'm not entirely sure how she made it. If I knew how to make uh, candy, I'd probably make it every day. And you can see there's little Stampy Cat faces uh, inside of all of the, the little rolls of candy and I thought it looked really cool and uh, really tasty as I wanted to say thank you very much uh, for making the candy and sending me the picture and welcome to my love garden <laughs> right then it's time for the race and seeing as you had such amazing dance moves in the uh, the last episode of Lee Bear how about we do the Lee Bear <laughs> shuffle all the way uh, to the the dog house so uh, we're going we'll start back here this can be the uh, the temporary starting line and we first need to shuffle through the love harp and then it's just the first one uh, to shuffle into the doghouse uh, gets to pick who we take with us today so uh, let me get on the starting line just like this and uh, we can begin the shuffling in a three two one go 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 right oh i went the wrong way <laughs> i shuffled the wrong direction you can see that i'm on the the amateur shuffler here and uh, lee bear uh, is the the master you need to go through the the heart remember oh i'm missing it myself can i get through oh lee bear's through there we go i'm just after him and now i need to shuffle shuffle as fast as I can. <laughs> it just looks really weird because like the camera is going crazy and really fast but look at my face. Look how just calm and steady and still it looks and oh it looks like we got our, our first obstacle. There seems to be uh, a closed gate. Uh, I think we're gonna have to try and open the gate uh, while doing uh, our shuffling. Uh, if I just stay here like this. Thank you Lee Bear and then he can open it for me and I can charge through. Oh it didn't work. <laughs> I was trying to be sneaky and make Lee Bear open the gate for me but he was still uh, able to, to get through uh, before me anyway. This is probably the slowest and closest race <laughs> I've ever had. Look, we're just exactly neck and neck. This is where it's all going to count. It's all about trying to get uh, into the, the doghouse. So can I open the gate? Oh, no, I can't. I tried to open it then. Oh, there we go. Lee Bear's got the, the gate open. Can I get inside, though? I'm going to try and drop down if I can. Oh, I need to stop crouching. There we go. Oh, I've got I've got here. Oh, no, but the door's not open. The door's not open. Right. Let's try and open the door and then try and shuffle inside. It's hard to do it with Lee Bear so close. Can I get the door open? <laughs> we just stuck the last hurdle, the, the door. There we go. The door is open and now we need to shuffle inside. And I think I did it just in front. Yes, I was just about able to shuffle in front of Lee. That was a... um. That was a weird race, wasn't it? That was a strange way to race. Good fun, though. Jolly good fun. And now I get to pick the doggy, and uh, I'm going to pick Duncan and Mittens today. They can be the, the two joining us if I can find them. Where Where is Duncan? Here he is. What are you doing hiding down here in the corner? You need to, to, to join us, and so does uh, your good friend Mittens. So I, of course, need to go and grab her as well. And uh, then uh, we're going to be heading back to the, the Shoe for You shoe shop, and uh, hopefully... Fingers crossed, building something really cool. Building something that I've actually never seen in Minecraft before. Uh, not a, uh, a working one at least. And that is, as I mentioned in the last episode, a treadmill. I am going to go and try and build a working treadmill. And the design I'm going to be trying to build took me... 
probably about 15 hours to come up with. I kept changing my idea and giving up and then having a new idea. And eventually, I got an idea that kind of works, but it is a little bit difficult. So my challenge is to get it uh, completely working in this video and also being able to explain how it works. Uh, so if any of you wanted uh, to build your own treadmills, uh, then you then you can. So uh, let's go and uh, first go and uh, head to the, uh, the actual shoe shop and uh, I'll show you uh, what it is we're going to be building and uh, where we're going to be building it. So uh, this is the the shoe shop i actually really like the the look of it it's definitely it's definitely growing me it kind of looks a it looks a little bit like an owl's face doesn't it like they're the big eyes and there's the beak there <laughs> i wasn't trying to make it look like an owl's face but that's a, a little bit of a cheeky bonus uh, but yeah this is what we built in the the last episode you can see all of our shoes and our one random cake uh, is uh, still in place uh, but what we're going to be building uh, is right here and that's going to be the the treadmill you can see uh, i tunneled up a uh, tunnel down a big room underneath here uh, just uh, to give us room to, to do all of the the redstone uh, but yeah let's go and uh, let's go and begin working it's gonna be it's gonna be quite hard to explain how it works before I've started building it so I'm gonna hopefully just try and explain exactly what it is I'm doing uh, while I'm doing it so rather than just standing here for ages wasting time uh, talking through everything if I just kind of do it I think that's gonna be the the easiest way to explain so the first thing is to kind of make it look like a treadmill so you can see uh, this is kind of the treadmill shape uh, this is where you're going to be running I'm also gonna add in some iron bars uh, which are gonna be kind of like hand railings I guess uh, that you can hold on to so let's uh, first try and make it look a little bit like a treadmill uh, so there we go this looks a bit like a treadmill but now what we're going to do is try and make it so these blocks uh, are actually moving and uh, to make them uh, move properly uh, we're going to be using sand and gravel uh, because they're really the uh, only two blocks pretty much uh, that have gravity and uh, so we're going to alternate between them uh, so as they slide along and make it look like they're moving um yeah uh, i'm going to alternate between them uh, so you can actually see them moving properly so uh, now i've dug up my hole and kind of marked uh, where it is i want to build i can go and uh, and start building so uh, the way it's going to work is we're going to be using pistons uh, to slide along uh, the uh, the gravel and the the sand so uh, first i'm going to paste down a a, flu uh, a few blocks uh, just to, to mark uh, where the the sand and gravel are going to to be on so i guess uh, if they're on that block there there we go that will work perfectly and uh, because i use these half slabs it's actually going to hide uh, where the the sand and gravel comes from and uh, where it goes and so the first thing is uh, to push up the uh, the sand and gravel uh, from down here uh, to get it higher up and to do that i'm going to use pistons but i actually need to use two pistons together uh, so what you need to do is make it so these pistons extend twice if that makes sense so basically that piston needs to extend and then once that one's extended this one also needs to extend so that way we can push the sand all the way up to there and so that's what I'm going to go and uh, try and make working now. So I do have some uh, some redstone with me here and <laughs> leave there. <laughs> Tell you what, your job can be testing all of the the different shoes while I'm doing this, just to just to make sure they fit properly. You know, when you get new shoes, they kind of hurt a bit. And so you've got to wear them for a while to kind of wear them in. If you just wear in all of the shoes, Lee Bear, then they're, they're all be ready to, to sell. Uh, try not to get too many bear hairs in there. They might not like that. <laughs> anyway, the redstone. So I'm going to do the... Um, redstone kind of coming down here and then i'm going to be building what's called a redstone clock and uh, i've built these plenty of times before so if you've been watching for a while you've probably uh, seen these before and uh, what you need to do is uh, you need to first start off by making some repeaters uh, so i'm going to go make another crafting table and i'm going to put it right here on the ceiling uh, just so it's out of the way and uh, yeah to make the repeaters all you need to do is go and uh, make some redstone torches just like this and then if you've got some smooth stone uh, you just mix it with redstone and uh, the smooth stone and then the torches and uh, you can make these uh, repeaters so these basically delay the signal uh, so what you can do with these is make it so the uh, the redstone is just kind of being continually looped so if i do the uh, the redstone to about here and i can go and do these repeaters and i'm going to do a, a few down here and i'm basically going to do it in a, a big circle shape like this and uh, then this way if i set off this redstone it's going to be continually going so if i go and uh, put down uh, this button on the wall here should be fine and then if i pull back uh, all of these uh, repeaters like this uh, and then that way, uh, if I press the uh, the button, uh, you should see uh, that the uh, the redstone is just continually spinning round. And so at the moment, it's uh, lifting this piston. Uh, don't get dizzy, Lee. Don't get dizzy. <laughs> so you can see this piston is just going uh, up and down like this. Uh, but I now need this piston uh, to lift up as well uh, once it's been lifted up to, to there. So uh, I'm actually going to change this to a uh, repeater. 
Then if I put a, a block on here, and then if I put a redstone torch uh, on top of this block, uh, basically this is going to allow me uh, to send the, the redstone signal uh, straight up. You see that the, the torch is lighting and then going back out again? If I put redstone on top uh, of this torch, uh, it's basically going to be sending a signal uh, exactly to, to where I need it to go. So if I just build around to about here, and then if I put redstone on top of there, uh, basically I'm going to be able to, to use that uh, to go and extend the, the second piston. So uh, I love the way every time I turn around, and Lee Bear's just wearing different color shoes. <laughs> right, let's go and uh, do this to here. And so now, hopefully, okay, you can see it's kind of working, but the other one's not staying extended for very long. Uh, so what I can do now is, uh, actually, if I just pull back this repeater a little bit, it should hopefully, there we go, now it's working properly. You see, it gets lifted and then gets lifted up again. If I pull this back even further, it might stay up for, for even longer as well. There we go. So you can now see, uh, if I put a, uh, a block on top of there, like a piece of sand, uh, you'll see that it's going to be getting lifted up uh, two blocks high. Let me just try and place it here. And uh, yeah, you can see it keeps getting lifted up and then dropping back down again. Uh, so the next thing to do is uh, to try and first get rid of the, the sand. Oh, no. Oh, no, I got rid of the piston. Didn't mean to do that. Right, it should be uh, easy enough to, to put it back on. Let's go and stop this going for a little bit, and then we can put the, the piston back down. Uh, so, yeah, uh, now we've got the, the sand going up that high. What I need to do is try and make it so it can be pushed in this direction. And so to do that, I'm going to have to go and put a piston down here. And I'm a little bit stuck now, so I'm going to have to break away the, the floor so I can get out. Uh, so, yeah, once the sand gets uh, all the way up to, to here, this piston is going to push it to slide it along. So you can probably start to see how this whole thing's going to work now. Because once it gets slid along all the way along here, it's going to drop back down to here. Then there's going to be another piston pushing it back in this direction. So all of the, the sand and gravel is basically going to be going in a big circle. Uh, so what I need to do now is I uh, come up here and uh, try and link up that, that other piston. So let me go and climb around this side. And uh, yeah, all I need to do is uh, once again a, a straight trail of uh, redstone uh, leading to, to this piston. So I know this all might seem... A little bit complicated, but really all I'm doing is... Oh, hello, Duncan. <laughs> what are you doing hiding up there? <laughs> let's uh, let's sit you down before you fall down here. Yeah, so basically all I'm really doing is trails of redstone uh, to the, um, the pistons. Uh, the only difficulty is getting the timing just right, uh, so they're all getting extended at the, the right time. But because we're using repeaters, uh, we can kind of worry uh, about that uh, at the, uh, the very end. So uh, let's go and just make this uh, dirt loop around here like this. And then if I uh, go and do the trail like this, and I'm going to add in a, uh, a few repeaters ready. Uh, so then that way, if we do need to adjust the redstone later, uh, we can do it very easily. So now, if I come back down here again and put down this redstone here, uh, now hopefully it should all uh, be working uh, up here. So uh, we just need to get the timing right. So yeah, you can see that one up there is getting, uh, is getting extended uh, way too quickly. Uh, so all I need to do now is uh, make uh, a bunch more repeaters, and uh, then I can go and add them in uh, to try and delay it uh, a little bit more. So there were a few there already, and I'm actually running out of redstone. Do you have any, any spare redstone on you at all, Leo? Where, where are you? What are you, <laughs> what are you doing hiding behind there? Have you got any? Oh, there we go. Brilliant. So I got some, some spare redstone. Should have uh, enough to, uh, to get this all finished off. Because once I've done this, I only really need to add in one more piston, and uh, we should be good to go. And where's Mittens? Oh, Mittens is sitting on the, the chest. <laughs> of course she is. She loves sitting on chests. Right, so let's go and uh, uh, pull this back a bit and uh, pull that one a back, uh, bit back here. And uh, let's see what the timing's like now, actually, before I add any more in. So basically, I want that one to be extended uh, just after that top one there. And actually, it looks just about perfect, if you ask me. Jolly good. Uh, so now I can go and just add in uh, the, uh, the final piston, uh, which is going to, to need to be uh, just about here. Here, I think. Yeah, if I go and build this up here, then I should be able to, to place the uh, the piston on top of this dirt. And then this one's going to slide it across this way. So if I kind of jump and place it, there we go. And oh, no, actually, I did it a little bit too close here. I need to uh, move this dirt back a bit. Uh, I'm only using the, the dirt as a marker so I can place the, the piston on. And if I place it, oh, nope, <laughs> that's not going to that's not going to help us at all, is it? All right, let's go and uh, jump and place it here. And uh, now if I make it so uh, this piston is also linked up to the, the same redstone, uh, we should get it working. And oh, Mittens has come to join us. Oh, I feel bad now. Let's go and uh, let Duncan join us as well. He can come and uh, jump down when he's uh, when he's ready. All right. So, yeah, let's go and uh, link uh, this redstone uh, up to, to everything else if we want then. So uh, let me go and uh, I use use wooden planks just because I've used that uh, the entire time before and uh, I just need to make it uh, so it's going underneath this piston here so if I kind of go uh, down like this 
and then this redstone can go boom, 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 and link up with uh, this here. And uh, now we just need to watch uh, to see whether the, the timing is all going to, to be right. And actually, we should actually uh, add a block there as well so it doesn't fall straight down. And no, it's not. Aha! I haven't actually linked it up right here. I need to go uh, out one further. Uh, so you can see it's actually not uh, pointing into the piston. You see now it's facing it. Uh, it should uh, be able to, to light it up now. There we go. It's now working. So we want that one to extend uh, while this one's down. So this one is extending a little bit too early. Uh, so once again, uh, all we need to do is uh, go in and add a, a few repeaters uh, to delay it a little bit. So let's go and make a, a few more of these. And uh, then hopefully, uh, once we've got the, the timing right, we should be able to actually uh, go and ride on the uh, the treadmill. <laughs> this is actually uh, pretty cool, isn't it? Uh, so let's go and um, uh, I'm going to add uh, another repeater in here. And then if I go and link this redstone up like this, uh, let's see how the timing is now. That looks good. That looks uh, almost perfect, if you ask me. So now all I need to do is add the uh, the sand and the, the gravel. So if I just uh, throw it down here, and I'm just going to alternate between sand and gravel uh, because then that way uh, you can see the, the pattern. So, uh, oh, I've just realized this uh, this bottom piston has not been extended for some Oh, there it goes. It kind of got extended a little bit. It seems to be going a little bit all over the place. I'm not sure. Okay, that one is lifting up, but the, the top one seems to be lifting up early. Let's try and see uh, what's going on wrong here. It seems to be working here. I'm going to go and try turning it all off and then starting it all back up again and uh, see if that uh, that helps out. It was working earlier, but for some reason, uh, it's not working now. Uh, so the bottom one uh, isn't being lifted up uh, in the, the right time for the, the top one. They're kind of just been uh, going at different times completely. Let's go and uh, change this repeat around a little bit if we can and see if that makes a difference. No, it's still not being lifted up at the, the right time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and speed up the video a little bit. And I'm just going to play around with all of the, the repeaters uh, until the, uh, the timing's working perfectly. And uh, yeah, then I'm going to come back in, place down the, the sand and gravel. And uh, yeah, we'll be ready to, to test out the treadmill. Okay, so I've uh, played around with it for uh, a little bit, uh, just sort of mucking up with the uh, the timings, and I think I might have uh, got it working. So let's go and uh, put some sand in here, and oh, careful mittens! <laughs> you nearly got squashed, but wait a minute, look! Look, it's working perfectly! So you can see that it gets dropped down the hole, it gets slid along to here, then it gets pushed up twice, and then pushed along at the uh, the top. Uh, so from upstairs, it should look like we have a working treadmill. And I'm going to eat some cake to reward myself. Num, 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 num. <laughs> right, so let's go upstairs. And uh, here's the other uh, moment of truth to see what it's like. And there we go. We can see Lee Bear is there working out on the, the treadmill. It kind of looks like it's uh, sliding along <laughs> underneath his feet. Uh, yeah, as if it's uh, like a, a real treadmill. So there we go. I was able to make a working treadmill. And there's actually uh, one more uh, finishing touch uh, that I want to do uh, to try and make it look like a, a real treadmill if I put a sign down here I can kind of pretend like this is the the screen so I can say like you're going 14 miles an hour 14 mph and uh, you're burning I can do how many calories you're burning <laughs> actually let's do uh let's do st and that's for shoe style that's your shoe style rating and uh, let's just put it at 56 <laughs> so there we go this is the uh, this is the the working treadmill as i said in minecraft and uh, there we go i'm uh, rather impressed that i was able to to do it uh, in a in a video as well so once again i'm just going to go downstairs here as you can see how it all works you can kind of see better from this side so see it just drops down and it gets slid across and then pushed back up on the uh, on the the other side uh, so now uh, once I've uh, clogged up this little hole, I do believe uh, that our, our shoe shop 
uh, is finished. I have finally finished uh, building my shoe uh, for you shoe shops. I think the uh, the only other thing is uh, to start selling some uh, some shoes. <laughs> Looks like Lee Bear's there uh, busily just kind of working out on it. So uh, remember the the idea of the uh, the treadmill is uh, is to test the shoes. So rather than uh, what you normally do in a shoe shop and uh, kind of take five spaces walking up and down to see whether you like the shoes, instead of that you can just go and run on a uh, uh, on a treadmill for for ages and um, <laughs> and just see whether the uh, the shoes. Are, are working properly and oh 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 Lee Bear we've got a customer quick get behind the counter you get behind the counter and I'll go and uh, I'll go and speak to the the customer um hello madam welcome to a uh, shoe for you um it looks like you're wearing some nice shoes there oh no you don't want them uh, could you please dispose of these smelly old shoes Lee Bear <laughs> right what sort of what sort of shoes are you into we've got some nice flexible bright colored ones here uh, we've got uh, a cake if you want to put a cake on your feet uh, we also got some some nice stampy style shoes up there or you can have a, a replacement pair of gold shoes. Ah, it looks like you're you're after the the yellow shoes. Is that right? Okay, let me just go and uh, uh, get these. Uh, what size shoe uh, do you want? Uh, jump up and down uh, for what size you want. Um, and then we go get you a tester pair. So size uh, three, four, five. Size five, right? Uh, can we have these in a in a size five, please, Lee Bear? Uh, if you get them from the uh, the stock room, uh, and then um, uh, yeah, we can go and uh, uh, let you try them on. You can just uh, sit there and uh, get comfortable. Uh, Lee Bear will be out with your your shoes very shortly, right? These are size five. Yep, they look like size five. If you ask me, as if you just go and put on these shoes. Oh, nearly dropped them in the puddle there. Sorry about that. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with a, a soggy shoe, as I always say. Oh, has it got stuck? There we go. Uh, here are your shoes, madam. Sorry about the uh, the weight. Uh, do you want to go and um, do you want to go try them on and? Uh, see see what you think oh they look good on you tell you what let's see exactly how good they look if you come over here uh, you can go on the uh, the catwalk and uh, if you walk up and down and have a little bit of a spin and to uh, see whether you uh, like the look of them oh they they look perfect oh they look uh, don't they look good Lee Bear isn't that isn't that a good style oh that is if I saw you walking down the street I would say that is a duck that knows about fashionable shoes but the important thing is to make sure that they're very good for jumping in puddles so if you go and uh, uh, climb up on the um on the uh, the diving board and then you've got to just jump down into the the puddle and uh, we'll see just how good uh, these shoes are at jumping in puddles oh oh they're, they're okay they're okay that you kind of hit the edge a little bit there do you, you want to have a have another go just to uh, just to make sure that they're definitely uh, the perfect shoes uh, for for jumping in in, in puddles if you go and have another go there oh <laughs> maybe, maybe these aren't the, the right shoes <laughs> or maybe you're just not very good at jumping in puddles and oh oh hello there sir i'll be with you in a uh, just one second i'm just serving uh, another customer actually uh, Lee Bear, do you want to go and uh, assist uh, Longbow uh, with his uh, with his purchase of shoes? And Squashy, do you want to come over to this rather fancy new piece of kit we got? Uh, this is a, uh, a treadmill, so you can go and uh, have a little bit of a, a run up and down on that, and uh, let me know uh, what you think, uh, whether you think that this is a... Um uh, yeah, a, a, a good a good treadmill. Do you think that this is um? Uh, yeah, do you, do you think that the the shoes are uh, are holding up okay? Do you think they're uh, they're strong enough? You do. All uh, right, I'll go behind the the counter and I can I can put these in a a shoe box for you and then you can uh, take them away. If you just go and uh, pass them to me, uh, I'll package them uh, them up nicely for you. Hello, Duncan. <laughs> uh, let me go and uh, I need to go and grab. Uh, let me just go and steal one of these shoe boxes for now. Uh, let's go and steal this one uh, from up the the top up here and uh, let me go and place it down. here here so uh, there you go squishy oh don't go in the puddle without any shoes on you don't want to do that uh, i've boxed up your uh, boxed up your shoes and they're on the other uh, counter for you up here and oh longbow magnificent oh the, these shoes really bring out your crying eyes they, they look absolutely lovely do you want to go and uh, uh, see how good they are at jumping up and down in puddles to see whether they're uh, they're waterproof enough for you of course very important oh they look absolutely sublime you might as well uh, go and uh, check them on the uh, the treadmill uh, just to make sure that they're comfortable for uh, when you're walking or, or jogging on wall but be careful i think you turned the speed up a little bit too high there longbow be careful <laughs> it's a very powerful machine i've built <laughs> uh, what do you reckon then longbow did you uh, did you fancy uh, buying the uh, the shoes uh, do, 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 are they are they to your your liking oh they are jolly good let me go and uh, go and grab you a, a a spare shoe box from up here if i just climb up uh, just break this one here seeing as it's got nothing in and oh no i won't because i can't reach that one uh, i use this one here all uh, right um here's your uh, here's your shoe box do you want to pass me your your shoes and i can go and uh, uh, package them uh, away nicely inside of the the shoe box and there you go 
two satisfied customers. And it's buy one, get one fr uh, free, by the way, at the moment on the uh, uh, the red shoes. You get a, a pair of pink shoes uh, free as well. <laughs> one pair of shoes for each feet. <laughs> oh dear. Anyway, that is the, uh, the end of this uh, episode here. Uh, hopefully uh, you enjoyed uh, watching me uh, trying to, to do some redstone and uh, building the, the treadmill. In the next episode, we're going to be having a shoe-themed minigame uh, to decide uh, who the uh, the employee of the uh, the month uh, is going to be for the, um, uh, the shop. Uh, but for now, I want to thank you all very much for watching, and I will see you all later.